In this chapter, we shall learn the geography of the Ganga Plains. The Ganga Plains are covered by the states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and the Brahmaputra Plains of Assam. Geomorphologically or physically, Uttar Pradesh can be divided into three major topographical regions. When I say topography, topography refers to the nature and slope of the land. So based on the nature and slope of the land, Uttar Pradesh can be broadly divided into the Shivalik foothills of Himalayas and the Tarai region, which borders Uttar Pradesh on the north. Second, the Gangetic Plains which cover the major central portion of the state. Third is the Bindya Ranges and the Plateau that lie in a relatively small part of the southern Uttar Pradesh. Talking about the first one, the Shivalik Hills and the Tarai region of the north. The Shivalik Range form the southern foothills of Himalayas which borders Uttar Pradesh on the north. When the rivers are flowing through Himalayas, they cut the mountains and form deep valleys. But when they reach the land, they bring along with them a lot of stones, pebbles and gravels. These regions are referred to as Bhabar, which covers the northern borders of Uttar Pradesh. As the rivers flow down the slopes of Bhabar and course through the relatively plainer areas of Tarai, the settlements are deposited in shallow beds and the sunken river streams of Bhabar region and re-emerge on the surface causing massive floods. So the lowland areas depressed with marshes, thick forests, swamps that are rich in clay and tall grasslands, runs parallel to the Bhabar track and these regions are called the Tarai region. This area is composed of fine alluvium, primarily sand, clay, silt and gravel. The width of the Bhabar is around 8 to 16 kilometers and the width of the Tarai region is 15 to 30 kilometers. The Gangetic Plains in these regions are characterized by a flat topography and a highly fertile alluvial soil deposited by the rivers originating from the Himalayas. The two river systems called the Ganges, which includes Ganga and Yamuna and their tributaries, flow down the Himalayas and is responsible for laying in the alluvial deposits, which makes the soil of the Gangetic Plains highly fertile and suitable for growing a variety of crops. These plains span about three-fourths of the total area of the state. It stretches from east to west and covers most of the central portion. It has a flat topography and it comprises of several physical features like the rivers, lakes, ponds and elevation ranging from 60 meters in the east to 300 meters in the northwest with a gradient of 2 meters per square kilometer. This entire expanse of the alluvial terrain is divided into three sub-regions. That is the eastern track made up of the Gangetic Plains is classified as scarcity region and it is often afflicted with famines and floods. And the agricultural lands of this region don't receive adequate irrigation. The central track. It is a well-irrigated track 
but suffers from water logging. Then the western track. This zone is well developed in terms of agriculture because of excellent water resources and irrigation systems. Then comes the southern part where lies the easternmost edge of Vindhyas. Vindhyas are a discontinuous range of hills and mountains. The southernmost part of the Gangetic Plains in Uttar Pradesh has a hard and varied topography made up of hills, highlands and plateaus. This region again has an elevation of 300 meters and this is a low-lying range that receives sparse rains. And this region is devoid of adequate water resources. So the farmers in these regions practice dry farming. In this section, we shall learn the physiographic divisions of Bihar. Bihar is broadly divided as the regions of Shivalik Range, second the Bihar Plains and third the Southern Plateau Regions. The Shivalik Range is located in the northwestern part of West Champar. It spreads over an area of length 32 kilometers and width 6 to 8 kilometers. Based on the local variation of topography, it can further be divided into one is the Someshwar range, Ramnagar Doom, and Haraha Valley. The Someshwar range extends from the mouth of Triveni Canal up to Bikhna Thori Pass. It forms a boundary between India and Nepal, and the highest point here is the Someshwar Fort, which is at a height of 874 meters. Then we see the Ramnagar Doon. Doons are valleys, which lie between two ranges. It lies on the southern side of the Someshwar Hills, which is marked by broken hilly regions. Then comes the Haraha Valley. The Haraha Valley lies between Ramnagar Doon and Someshwar Range, which is commonly known as the Valley of Baraha River. Then comes the Bihar Plain, which covers 95% of the area of Bihar. River Ganga divides Bihar into Northern and Southern part. So we have the Northern Ganga Plains and the Southern Ganga Plains. The northern Bihar consists of the plains of alluvium. Based on the flow of the river, we can say that the slope of the northern Bihar is from northwest to southeast. The northern part of Bihar is prone to flooding each year. It is because of the perennial rivers that flow from Himalayas and come and join the Ganga River. These are mainly Gandak, Bagmati. Koshi, Kamala, and Mahananda rivers. The northern plains are broadly divided as Gandak plains, Bagmati plains, Kamala plains, Koshi plains, and Mahananda plains. Talking about South Ganga plains, this spreads over 42.7% of the total area of Bihar. The eastern portion of the alluvial plain is interrupted by Kharagpur hills. The south plains of Bihar are wider in the west and narrower in the east. And the western portion of this alluvial plain slopes from southwest to northeast. On the other hand, the central and the eastern part of the plains slopes from south to north. The Hills of Rajgir have an elevation of 445 meters, while the Kharagpur range has an elevation of 300 meters. Coming to the next division, that is South Hilly region of Bihar. Now this is again marked by hills and ridges. Ridges are long, pointed, narrow hills with many peaks. 
Geographically, it extends from the Kaimur district in the west to Banka district in the east. This region is made up of hard rocks of gneiss, schist and granite. The important hills in these regions are Pretshila, Jetian, Ramshila and many more.